Assuming that's gone, we've got plenty of room to stop. We're on our way to Buffalo in Atlanta. So we, we just walked halfway down the terminal in the wrong direction. So we are here in Buffalo, New York, the right airport this time. I screwed that up last time, but we are boldly going where no limo has ever gone before. This is a bucket list stunt. I have been talking about doing this for no less than five years. We get to do it now here, hopefully. Super, super excited to try this out. Hopefully, hopefully weather holds. We got some snow coming in, but should be good and uh, gonna be home with a show. How's it going? That's all you gotta do is hit that and you'll go straight into that. <laughs> it makes sense sound so easy. All you gotta do is hit that and you're good. Just hit that and you're good with that car you can't see out of. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> it's not that wide. Okay. So, this is the other spot I'm a little worried about. Just right here, you've got a decent sized bump. So, coming out of that, with, it's not huge, it's not gonna like, kill the car. I would say that other side, if you've got some of this that we can put over there, just right where that dip is, might be helpful. The road's doing its job, but we need to fix it from doing its job, and then, oh yeah. The car's not that high. However, I think if we do a jump at all, I run the risk of like getting the, the Kappa detated, and I'd rather keep my head on, so let's maybe forego that jump and yeah. It shouldn't be a problem. Oh, we no, might. No, okay. okay. It read my mind. Yep. Okay. I don't know how much speed I'm gonna lose, but we are definitely this. This is your goal point right there. Yeah. Just don't fuck up. I mean, I can't really fuck up too much, or I've missed horribly. And turns out, New York in the winter's cold. Me. But well, like, what do they say? This is about an inch, and we were supposed to get an inch, so let's check it out. We're, we're still not quite an inch. We don't got an inch yet. So we're, we're good. We're supposed to get an inch of snow, and it is a winter wonderland out there. Definitely got that inch and then some. So we're gonna go and deal with the house, but first, finish adding the bolt-on speed to the old limo here, because we're gonna need every ounce of speed we can get today, and hopefully stickers add traction. This is added weight, so we can get some traction and uh, hopefully go through this house. That should work there. You said you were gonna put a roll cage in it. This has more cage than I'm used to. So you guys did great. So like you're supposed to see through this? I don't know if you can drive through Braille, but we're gonna try. What you about to go do? We're about to take it for a test spin. See, uh, see what we're working with. I'm literally looking through here to see what I'm going to shrink this thing. Perfect. It'll do. <laughs> Hopefully have enough speed because traction is an issue. We got the thing sideways and like exactly what we're about to go and drive in. So again, traction's not our best friend right now, but the Kendas are going to hopefully grip, rip and right through that house. All right, we got a chauffeur to the wrecking site. We are about to go straight through a house. I'm gonna hit there, probably air to here, and then just hopefully it works. <laughs> Assuming that's gone, we've got plenty of room to stop. Yeah, yeah and that stuff is not, it's just like a, something to slow you down. I, I'm not worried about it. I see what you mean. It's gonna get bumpy. Yeah. You are joking. It's gonna get bumpy. So, so what do you do? Like to hike yourself up or something like this. Now, think less, yeah. try faster. Yeah. 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 We definitely got that inch and then some. So traction became a complete issue. Yesterday, we were able to go all the way back into the grass. Today, that is off the table. So speed is gonna be a little tricky. We're trying to figure out the best way to approach this. We've gotta get through three walls and then hopefully not hit the trees in the back. Been talking about this stunt for about five years. Finally get to do it today. I get to take a limo straight through that house. 
This is gonna be the best day ever. Are you good, bud? Yeah. Are you good? We did not stop for shit. Holy <laughs> Hard on the brakes as soon as we went through, and we just split the whole way. Yeah. Holy yeah. Here's the tail of the tail right here. It bent the rear end of the car. We hit so hard that the rear end buckled. We hit the tree that hard. That's it. I don't think the house was any problem, but now you can see that whole thing is bent up that way. Testament to Lincoln though, that car was still running. We shut the car off. It will still start. I told myself, Earlier today, I'm probably just getting in a car accident today. I'm gonna get in a head-on car accident, but when you have the proper safety equipment, turns out you'll walk away to live another day and we're gonna live forever. Woo! Still runs amazingly. And I'm looking, the radiator's bent. Yeah, like I said, power steering is gone. Radiator, and that might just be the training cooler, so the transmission's gonna go before the motor does. Biggity, biggity, biggity.